Hello everyone, back to you in today's first video, doing weekend forecast for today's first video. So, as always on a Saturday, we have a detailed look at the weather for the week ahead. It's going to be a very, very interesting weekend forecast, to say the least, with hot temperatures in the south until the middle of the week, an increasing risk of thunderstorms. And Wednesday looks like it could well be the breakdown day for this heat wave. Uh, down in the south, and uh, we could have some widespread and really quite severe thunderstorms actually on Wednesday. And then the second half of the week should see a cool down uh, developing uh, from off the Atlantic as well. That heat, humidity, and thunder moves away to the east. So, so yes, a very, very interesting weekend forecast to come. And uh, I'll get on that very shortly. Just say that coming up later on today, we're going to have a 10 to 14 day uh, video update with all the regular features. And of course, within the GFS time frame now, is uh, is the uh, final bank holiday uh, weekend of the summer, the, the late August bank holiday weekend, just in the GFS time frame now. So uh, we're going to bring you uh, that update hopefully this evening. It could be quite late because uh, it'll probably be a little bit later with the 10 to 14 there as well as I wait to see how hot temperatures are getting. Uh, this afternoon, uh, but but uh, we will try and bring you the uh, the first update for the uh, late summer, late August bank holiday weekend uh, this evening. Uh, so websites using for the weekend forecast coming from weatherapp.com, weathercentral.de. If I link to both websites, I will link to the page at gasweathers.com and in the description. The radar is from gasweathers, which we won't uh, dwell on for too long because it's been mostly dry across the country today. Although there were a few showers earlier this morning down in the far southeast, but most of those have uh, gone now. So here's today's hot pressure chart. High pressure is sitting to the north and northeast. We're bringing in these hot winds in the south uh, from an east to southeasterly direction. But the air is a lot cooler, fresher, and much more pleasant uh, further northwards. With high pressure in control, there will be a lot of dry weather around today. But one or two showers could break out this afternoon in the southeast. And we might spark a shower somewhere else uh, as well. Uh, say, maybe North Wales, North Midlands, uh, over Pennine. Somewhere like that might get a shower. But they're going to be very hit and miss this afternoon. Most places will stay dry with plenty of sunny spells. And it's going to be uh, a very warm to hot afternoon uh, across most parts of uh, southern and eastern England. In fact, very hot down in the extreme south, southeast. We could see temperatures going back to around 35 or 36 this afternoon. That's around 95, 97 Fahrenheit. But not quite as hot through London as it was yesterday. But even so, temperatures into the low to potentially mid 30 Celsius, depending on how much you weigh of sunshine uh, there is. Further north, it's very warm, with temperatures like into the low to mid 20 Celsius, but much lower humidity and just a much generally more comfortable, uh, much more comfortable feel across central and northern areas with plenty of sunny spells for Northern Ireland, for Northern England, and uh, for Scotland as well. Overnight tonight, we're going to have another very, very warm night down in the southeast with temperatures in many of the towns and cities again holding up at around 21, 22, so uh, not falling below the 70 Fahrenheit mark in the extreme south and southeast tonight. Again, one or two showers are possible in the southeast. They might turn a little bit thundery uh, as well. We might get a shower, a few showers going across parts of North Wales and also Northern England as well through the course of tonight. But that said, many places are going to stay dry uh, tonight. Uh, it's going to be, as I said, a very warm night, a humid night down in the south, but much cooler up in the north, so a big temperature contrast. So the Scotland and Northern Ireland and north of Northern England, you probably see temperatures there going down to single digits, like to 7, 8, 9 degrees quite widely, not just in rural areas, but in some uh, sort of built-up areas too. But down in the southeast, we see temperatures holding up above 20 20 or 21 degrees, so so a huge contrast in temperatures from uh, much cooler, fresher conditions in the north to uh, really hot, humid and oppressive conditions down in the south. Uh, tomorrow, high pressure is still dominating just to the east northeast of the country, but we are beginning to see a little bit of a trough developing uh, down across the south. So we could start off with some showers across southeastern parts of uh, England tomorrow, after, uh, tomorrow morning. Most of those should die out, and much of the day will be dry, with probably more and more sunshine compared to today. Uh, but then we may see further showers developing 
uh, late Sunday afternoon into Sunday evening down in the south, and they could well be uh, turning thundery. At the same time, might see some thunderstorms breaking out across parts of Wales, northern England, possibly the north Indies. Again, probably quite hit and miss and well scattered, but few more of them around compared to today. That said, most places will again be dry tomorrow with plenty of sunshine. Uh, sunny and uh, pleasantly warm, but not uh, oppressively hot up in the north, as like Scotland and much of northern England and northern Ireland. Down in the south, it's going to be another very hot day. In fact, we could see the, the hot temperature begin to ease northwards again tomorrow. So places like the Midlands and East Anglia might be hotter tomorrow than, uh, than they are today. Temperatures in the far south could well go to around 34, 35 degrees again into mid-90s Fahrenheit. Much of the Midlands could be up to around 31, 32. That's hovering around 90 Fahrenheit. But again, go further north, it's not going to be as hot there. Uh, so northern England, particularly up into Scotland, temperatures much more comfortable there into the low 20s Celsius. Well, this trough begins to develop in situ over country on uh, Monday. So very hard to pin the detail down on this. Expect day-to-day -day changes as we move into uh, next week for Monday and for Tuesday. But for Monday, I think we possibly see some thunderstorms overnight, sunny into Monday in the southeast corner. Most of those should go away, it should die away on uh, on Monday morning, and then it should be mostly dry down in the south southeast. More thunderstorms could break out through parts of Wales and northern England. They might start to push up in towards southern parts of Scotland, perhaps, during the course of Monday afternoon into Monday evening. They could be quite widespread as well through that central and northern part of the country. Northern Ireland, north west Scotland probably stays dry. Much of England and Wales, once those storms trundle northwards, should be mainly dry uh, as well. It could be a very hot day down in the southeast. Temperatures might be hotter on Monday, the extreme southeast corner. So we could be back up to around 36. And an outside, I wouldn't totally rule out 37. Somewhere like central London, Heathrow again, perhaps that's around uh, 97 to 99 Fahrenheit. Just a possibility that Monday could see an, an increase of a push of heat into that southeastern corner, depending on how much sunshine there is and, uh, and what happens with the showers, of course. That's the big unknown about the early part of next week. Probably hotter through the Midlands into northern England, still relatively pleasant, uh, or just, uh, just warm and pleasant with low humidity for Scotland. That's Tuesday. Again, we're within this sort of trough of low pressure, so showers will be around on Tuesday. They may well be a uh, thundery place as well, pinning down where they are. Is quite difficult. I suspect on Tuesday we could be looking at the showers more across the eastern side of the country. So thundery showers or thunderstorms through like eastern England, possibly up into the northeast of England, maybe to eastern parts of Scotland, most sort of areas, possibly Lincolnshire, East Anglia. Again, very hard to pin the detail down on this because it's not an actual area of low pressure, it's just a trough, it's acting as a little bit of a trigger for instability. Uh, more west there is tending to be dry. Down in the south, probably quite dry through there, but one or two hit and miss thunderstorms seem possible. Should be quite a bit of sunshine around as well. And uh, it's going to be hot again in the south and southeast. Temperatures probably up to around uh, sort of mid 30 Celsius. Definitely a possibility down in the south and southeast. In fact, quite widely across much of England, temperatures will be into below to mid 30 Celsius, I would have thought on Tuesday. Notice this area of low pressure over France, though. As we go through uh, the night from Tuesday into Wednesday, that starts to push northwards. And that is the final breakdown of the heat wave on Wednesday. We'll probably be going out with a bang, though, this. So uh, Wednesday could well start with severe thunderstorms down across southern parts of the country. And those uh, thunderstorms will then start to push northwards as we go through the day, along with this thundery area of low pressure. So again, the detail on this is very hard to pin down. It's several days away. We'll have to firm up on what's going on here. But Wednesday could well see severe thunderstorms pushing northwards across many parts of the country. Uh, we could have uh, very significant amounts of lightning around on Wednesday. Uh, big thunder, thunder claps as well. Hail, torrential rain, flash flooding is a possibility as well with this thundery area of low pressure. Again, pinning down exactly where these storms are going to be on Wednesday is quite difficult, but I suspect they will be quite widespread starting in the south through Wednesday morning and then pushing 
uh, northwards. Eventually, cooler and fresher air will start to move in from the west. But eastern air is probably still very warm to hot on Wednesday, with temperatures probably still around 32 across parts of East Anglia and 90 Fahrenheit. But gradually cooler, fresher air will be starting to tuck in from off the Atlantic as those storms begin to shift more towards the eastern side of the country. And then we go through into Thursday, and by Thursday we should all be in a much cooler and um, fresher air mass uh, across the country. Again, very difficult to pin down the detail with this area of low pressure through the second half of the week. I suspect eastern areas might have a hang back of sort of uh, of outbreaks of rain on Thursday. We probably lose the thundery potential that probably uh, drains away from the atmosphere overnight Wednesday into Thursday, but we may still have some uh, sort of heavy rain, thundery rain, perhaps left on the eastern side of the country through Thursday and up in the north as well for northern parts of Scotland. But brighter skies after a very grey and murky start, sort of start you tend to get uh, after a fungi breakdown. Uh, we probably see all of that greyness and murk clearing away as brighter skies and fresher air comes in from off the Atlantic. So most places, I suspect, do brighten up during the course of Thursday. What you'll notice is cooler, fresher air coming in from off the Atlantic. Still warm in the east. It's going to take quite a while to get the warmth out of the cities in particular. So probably still seeing temperatures up to around 25 or 26, somewhere like London. But, uh, but generally a much cooler, fresher feel uh, as we go through the day on uh, Thursday with bright skies moving in from off the Atlantic. And then as we go through to Friday and then into next weekend, there is a lot of uncertainty with this area of low pressure sticking quite close to the country so all we can really say for friday and next weekend is that we can expect further showers if not maybe some longer spells of rain uh and uh and temperatures will be significantly cooler as well back to average really with a range somewhere from around 15 to 23 uh something like that which is much much closer to average and will feel uh, a lot more comfortable uh, but again, the detail on all of that is to be uh, is to be determined. In fact, it is one of those weeks where detail from like Monday onwards is quite difficult uh, to pin down. Never mind sort of Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. OK, just have a look at the charts where outlook. So lots of hot sunshine around uh, today. There is more cloud in the south and southeast compared to yesterday, though, which probably keeps the temperature down by a couple of degrees compared to yesterday. But even so, probably still reaching mid-30s across some southern areas if the sun comes out. More in way of sunshine and potentially a little bit hotter, I think, tomorrow uh, down in the south in particular. And then go through into Monday. And there's just a few thunderstorms around uh, on that Monday, still really hot down in the south, and that heat could actually be pushing northwards a little bit uh, on Monday uh, as well. Tuesday, again, some thunderstorms scattered around, quite a lot of dry weather, though, as well. Very hot and humid down in the south. And then Wednesday is the thundery breakdown as that low pressure drifts up from France and Biscay, produces some potentially severe thunderstorms with torrential rain, flash flooding, fork lightning, hail, you, you name it, it could all be going on on Wednesday. So that's the one to watch, I think. Monday and Tuesday will have thunderstorms around as well, but, but I think Wednesday is definitely the one to watch as the fungi breakdown takes place and then through Thursday and Friday it turns a much cooler and fresher uh, with brighter skies then chasing away all of the heat humidity and thunder temperatures drop by many degrees down in the south still pleasantly warm in the sunshine but nowhere near as hot or as humid in the south and the southeast and there could be some showers and some longer spells of rain around as well. Okay, it's been a little bit of an extended weekend forecast, and that's because there's a lot going on. So, in summary, well, of course, we're starting with heat wave conditions in the south and southeast. And this heat wave is going to continue until the middle of next week. And early next week, we could actually see that heat drifting a little bit further northwards across many parts of England uh, once again. But at the same time, there's a growing risk of thunderstorms through Monday and Tuesday after a mainly dry weekend. Then Wednesday, fungi breakdown takes place, severe thunderstorms pushing up from France and then that all clears away through Thursday and Friday as brighter skies and cooler and fresher air chases all of that heat, humidity and thunder away to the east and temperatures return to normal classic sort of fungi breakdown could well be on the way for the middle of the week but for them very hot in the south and southeast. We'll be back later on with your 10 to 14 day video update including all our regular features and then tonight we're going to try and have a look at uh, the bank holiday weekend. That's all for now, though, and thanks for watching.